Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and thank you again for being part of this project and for really doing the work of getting this animation together. Lovely to connect with you again. And this project in particular, we came to you with an idea saying, we want to introduce the message of Jesus in two, two and a half minutes. Uh, what was it about that that inspired you and made you want to take the project on? Yeah, I think the initial reaction was that we were terrified. Um, condense the gospel in two minutes and tell it in a beautiful way. Um, so I think that challenge uh, itself was already very intriguing for us. And then obviously the fact that was a very explicit project like it's not a project that it's not it's trying to find a new clever way it's just like let's you know let, let's use the right words and let's preach it unashamedly and i think that um that attracted me personally quite quite a lot uh, grace can i bring you into a conversation here because uh, you've been behind the design and the illustration um and I suppose the visual look of uh, what, what's come together. Uh, give us an idea of how you go from uh, a fairly abstract idea uh, through to putting something together that looks beautiful on screen. Yeah, of course. Um, so I was very involved in the visual aspect of it, but it was totally a team effort. And I think my favorite part of my favorite part of this project was getting to work with a couple other design freelancers who I've just looked up to for a long time. And they also helped kind of with this problem solving, like you're right, taking this abstract idea about the gospel, which Jorge touched on, seems like a huge task and you wanna do it right. And in a way that is really impactful because the gospel is impactful and you wanna do it justice. Taking that um, into visuals was a big challenge and I guess we kind of started from breaking down the script there were so many beautiful words that we wanted to show and I think a big challenge was trying to figure out where the really punchy moments and then while also carrying through kind of a book ending concept which Greg really had a big hand in coming up with as the beginning on the cross and then ending on the cross. Uh, Greg you've been uh really behind the, the movement, the motion, you know, the uh, brains behind the animation. Tell us from, from your point of view, uh, is there a favorite part or a favorite sequence uh, that you've really enjoyed uh, participating in here? I think probably one of my favorite sequences was the creation sequence at, um, at the, towards the beginning of the video both sort of the hand kind of dipping into the water and then the fire and sort of swirling and Eden pops up. And um, that was one of the most like technically challenging sequences um, because there's just every type of animation, uh, hand drawn and 3D and After Effects and like everything, just like a mishmash of, of all these things. But I think um, that was something that we really wanted to feel beautiful and feel alive. And so, you know, how do we get the blades of grass to be moving? How do we, you know, have these characters look realistic? How do we have ripples in the water and just have it feel really alive? Um, because that matters to the message and that, you know, as we're creating something that is talking about the creator of the world, like we really want to um, do this justice. So, that was um, definitely one of the more challenging sequences just to get right. And a sort of one of those shots we sort of had to keep coming back to kind of throughout the whole uh, sequence. But um, Victor just did such a good, he kind of animated most of that and um, the, the Eden part at least. And uh, he just did such a, such a great job with that. Uh, Jorge, can I come back to you? Uh... Just to, to close off this conversation, uh, how would you like to see this animation being used? Yeah, that was uh, a very important question that we asked ourselves actually at the beginning of the project um, because we were also involved in some of the script writing with you. And one of the first questions that we asked, it was like, what's, 
what's our goal with this? You know, like what, what do we want people to, to see and um, whatever the goal for the video is, we should make that our goal. Um, and in some ways it, it really boils down to as simple as it can be is just tell the gospel in a beautiful way, uh, in a, in a short accessible way. And in a way it's almost like if you had two minutes with, with the person walking on the street to, to tell them about the gospel, what would you say? And that's kind of where we started from. And obviously we started beautifying it and adding a lot more. And then, you know, with a team of, I think it was about eight animators, three designers, and then on top of like the, the directorials, it's a, it's a pretty big team. <clears throat> and um, kind of how can we make sure that we all working towards this goal? But, but at the end of the day, that, that's really it. Like for us, it would be a successful video if somebody watches this and, and really just starts wonder, um, you know, who Jesus is. Well, thank you for putting your creative gifts uh, to use. Thank you for serving us as a ministry uh, in this work as well. And uh, we'll be watching with you uh, to see as this goes out, uh, hoping that people will do exactly that. We'll watch and we'll ask that question. Uh, that Jesus asks of them. Who do you say that I am? Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.